Hey everyone, I'm back with another amazing tutorial and in this one we'll be making graph animation. Now if you learn this, you'll be able to create many effects or animations yourself because most of the animations have the use of same nodes. I'll explain this first and then we'll make it from scratch. So don't need to worry for the beginners. At first this node graph might look a little bit complicated but once you understand the fundamentals, it's a piece of cake. All right. And my workspace might be a little bit different from you. Well, if you like this one, then you can also have this workspace like me. How? By coming to this workspace and here checking this full screen window. I don't have my toolbar. So you can do that too by coming to this fusion and unchecking the show toolbar. And lastly, my flow is also downward. Just right click and options. You can see you have this option of build flow vertically. By default, it's horizontally. And this way, you will have this kind of workflow. It depends. Uh, none of the workflow is good or bad. It's good or bad for you. Okay, whichever workflow makes you work faster, that is good for you. Now, to begin with, I have these two underlays over here, two over here, and two over here, and the last one. All right. And these all are separated. They don't have a flow. Well, that is not true. They do have a flow, but the pipes are not visible because of the wireless link node that is presented over here, over here, and all of the top. Okay. And even over here, this is the media out. So to explain this, firstly, I'll start by explaining the background. How did we created that background? And that is here in the last underlay. Okay. So it's here in this group node. And if I open it by double clicking on it, you can see that what I did was if I view this over here, and by the way, I don't have two views enabled. I only have the single one enabled. You can do that too. Here you can see that you have this sort of background, which I already made. First things first, we have this background. Let me just disable this uh, a tangle node. So we have this plain white background. Okay, it's enjoying the sunny day and it's good. But I didn't want it that. So what I did was I added this rectangle. If I enable it, this is a rectangular mask. I put it on this background, as you can see in this effect mask. And here it's really light, but the background was white, right? Then why it's light? It was white. So that is because if I come to this rectangle and here, if you have this inspector enabled, so in this inspector, you have all the controls and parameters of a node and here the level is 0.1. So the level is basically opacity. That is it. And then I just added over here and because of this corner radius, it was something like this and width and height properties. I made it this small, then adding some duplicate node. And with the help of this duplicate, I got seven of these. Well, it's a little bit complicated to see this right now. That is because of this checker underlay beneath that. So how do you remove this checker underlay? Coming to this menu, unchecking checker underlay and boom, you got yourself a black background. It's helpful in some cases. In this duplicate, as you can see that I have seven copies and also my Y value is a little bit down. So that is why I was able to grab these seven copies and bring them down. As easy it sounds, it's more easy to do once you start creating the effect yourself. Then as for the background, I simply have this white background again and with the help of rectangle and decreasing its level, we got ourselves a cute, nice rectangle. Then again, this was a background. All of these were foreground. Then with the help of merge, adding these strips onto the background. All right, pretty simple. Then selecting all of it and hitting control G to make them a group node. That's pretty simple till now, right? So this was the first thing which we did. If I come over here and again, check this checker underlay. So we will get this back. And this is pretty basic till now. Well, after this, as you can see that this was our background and on top of it, we have all these elements. So after creating this background, I went on to create these elements. Okay. And all of these things are done later. So how did we create these elements? So let me come to the first one. As you can see, I have all of these over here. I even have these four sticky notes over here so that you can understand this pretty well. So the first one is obviously on the top. So it says making the graph lines. So, all right. What did you understand from this? You understand that here are the two underlays and the nodes which are present in this underlay are creating these graph lines. As simple as that. All right. So the second one is over here and the third one is on the top. And the lastly, we have this fourth one over here. Let me just correct this. So this is the fourth. All right. Come over here. Backspace to remove everything. Fourth and media out. That is it. Now close this and you got yourself this. And I even use uh, these sticky notes to 
act as a separator so i have three different sticky notes just uh, arranged like this in a manner and obviously they are disabled as you can see if i enable those then i don't like these this way so that's why i disable them so these are acting as separators if you know how to use separators then please i would be very much happy to be enlightened about that all right coming back to this one so making the graph lines so the process is same but the repetitiveness of the nodes are really high so what i'm saying is basically the nodes which i have used here are just mask nodes generator nodes and some transform and etc nodes like these okay so maybe three to four nodes that's it but i have used them again and again so that's why it's looking a little bit complicated or sort of messy i tried my best to organize them coming over here on uh, this underlay which says yellow graph and when you have these underlay so you can come to this menu and even choose any of the underlay which you want to go or you can do control d sorry control shift d and this will enable this bookmarks also so you can add some bookmarks and if you check the show underlay then you will be seeing this also so i can choose yellow graph hit go or i can come to this menu and choose simply yellow graph all right here you can see that i have this yellow graph and i have many notes so i think this might be visible for you let me just reduce my inspector just for a moment so that it will be easier for me to uh, make you understand this so the first thing first we have this plain background over here and in this background if i see the inspector you can see that my alpha is set to zero which means that it is transparent that is why we are seeing this checker underlay beneath that okay this is acting as a background or a blank canvas you can say on which we will draw some things so what we're doing over here is we are drawing this onto this blank canvas well with the help of this merge i was able to add this you can see this yellow input this is obviously background and this green input is foreground and this blue input is effect mask okay then over here in this more sure as you can see the yellow input this background is set to yellow input which means that this is our background and on top of it we have these graph lines well that is super cool but we need something to make these graph lines on so that is where these lines come in and that's why i have chosen this to second adding the excess lines so let me first explain how did i make these lines and if i show this to you so this looks something like this okay so these are the lines over here and also this one so let me just again remove the checker underlay so that will be a little bit easier for you and in here on if i come to this 10th frame so you can see that i have these two lines on which i made those graph lines okay so how did we do this so it's pretty simple first of all as you can see that we have this y axis over here and what is this y axis it's a simple background node which you can add by hitting shift plus space bar and typing bg enter and boom you got yourself a nice clean background okay so let me just lead this and i just changed its properties and just made this gray that is it but how did we get this line that is because it's polygon so if i see this background so this is a simple plain background which is colored gray that is it but with the help of this polygon i was able to create these two anchor points so let me just view this one and here in this polygon as you can see i have this one over here and this one over here so i have two points so you can do that too by clicking this shift plus p click append and you can add some lines as you want but i'll undo that with control z because i don't want to do that so i just created this all right and in this polygon as you can see in the inspector panel you have all the settings and the solid is unchecked and the border width is increased so as the name says border width it just increased some width over here all right with the help of that we were able to get this line pretty simple right then again i just added two text over here which says line one and line two and then merged it on top of this line so if i show this to you so this will look something like this line one and line two and this is based on where the line was starting so as you can see the yellow one will start from here and the purple one will start from here but a simple pretty basic right and how i animated it i animated that using this rectangular mask 
I just connected it with this merge and that is pretty simple. On the zero frame, as you can see, this rectangle mass is over here. So I just change its X and Y position and that is it. By doing that, we were able to get this sort of animation effect. All right. So this was about the Y axis, which is the vertical one. Now let's talk about the X axis, which is over here. And this is the horizontal one. So if I bring this over here and let me just bring the last one over here, even glow. Yeah, that is looking pretty much nice now. So what I did over here was the same thing. I have this background. All right, the simple background color is changed to gray, then adding this polygon onto it. And in this polygon, as you can see, we have these two points in a horizontal way. That is it. That's how I got this line. Okay, then merging it on top of this one and you can see that i have this wireless node also so what does this wireless node do basically so if i didn't have this wireless node so what would i have to do if i didn't have that first of all it will break the flow and the connection and what i have to do is i have to take this output from here from merge 10 and connect it to the merge to this one then it will work yeah that is looking good and there's no problem in it but i don't like the flow of this one so to organize it, what I did was I just uh, deleted this flow by removing this connection and adding this wireless link node. So shift plus spacebar, type wire, boom, you get yourself a wireless link node, which is a wireless node. <laughs> so putting it over here, right click, set color to pink. You can choose by default. So, and now, when you click on this wireless link, you will have this input over here. So either what you can do is you can type the input of it by going F2 and control C to copy, then coming over here and then control V to paste, hit enter and boom, now it will work. Or what you can do is simply just click on this so that you have the inspector panel enabled and now take this and drag it and put it over here. That is it. That's how simple it is. Then connect this wireless link and put it over here. So this will not visualize the pipe. Okay. So right now the pipe is invisible because of this viral wireless link, but the flow is not broke. So that's what we wanted, right? And again, we added this line, which was in a horizontal way. Then again, adding some numbers, which says zero over here, then merging it on top of here, then adding number 10, number 20, 30, 40 till 60 all right and then lastly adding a glow on top and again animation is again set with this rectangle as we would have the as you had the animation in the y-axis one with this rectangular uh, animating from top to bottom same ways we have this rectangle animating from left to right that's how I was able to create these X and Y lines on this X and Y graph or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So let me just come here and check an interlay back. So that's how I created this. And this is transparent. How do we know that? Because we have check an interlay. We need that. That is, is it. So let me just remove that again. Because now I'll talk about how I made those animated lines. Okay. I'm talking about this one. So coming back to the yellow graph. Now, since we have those lines, I can animate these lines. But how do we make this? The question is that. So it's pretty simple. As I told you that uh, the way in which by which we get these lines, we'll be creating these lines similarly. So we have this plain background, yellow background. Okay, like this. Then creating some lines on this background with the help of polygon. Connect this polygon to the background mask and mask it out with this polygon and that is it and again in this polygon solid is you can uncheck the solid by the way and increase the border width that is it then in the next one what i thought was okay so earlier for just like this okay and these nodes let me just remove these these were not here so it looked something like this so there's no background here and let me just do the same thing with the purple one let me just disable these so they will look something like this but i thought that it's not looking that great so what i did was i added this watch over here 
I added this solid gradient background over here beneath this. Okay, so this way it will be more good looking. Okay, it will have some sort of design basically. So how do you do that? Well, you have this polygon, you have the line with this background. Okay, so just copy this polygon. And when you copy this, you will have these points only. So after this, add two more points, one over here, this one, and one over here, this one. Now, when you will do that, just close it. And that is it. And this polygon, as you can see, solid is checked. Now, because of that, we were able to get this. So first of all, we have this sort of background. All right. We have this gradient background. As you can see over here, the type is set to gradient and the gradient type is linear. And the gradient is somewhat like this. And this black one, the alpha is set to zero, which means what? If I check this checker underlay, then this means that the black part on which the alpha is set to zero, it will be transparent. If the alpha is set to one, which by default it's set to one only, so it would not be that transparent. And I added some little bit transparency on this one also on this yellow part. Then I just mask this background out with this polygon. And that's how you get these lines as well as the solid transparent background. That is it. That's really, really simple. And remember earlier I told you that I have this plain canvas on which we'll paint. So this is how you painted this. And again, with the help of merge, I was able to add this on top of this plain background. So that's how I do it. And animating this again with a rectangular mask. If you'll come and see over here on the zero frame, it's over here. As you can see, the center X and Y values are animated. We have this keyframe. And then when we come forward, slowly and gradually, it shows the whole graph line. That is it. That's how you do it. So again, I thought that this is still not looking that good. So what we can do is we can highlight some major events. And in order to do that, we would have to create these things. Well, we have this dotted line and an ellipse over here on the top. So how do we do that? Again, choose any of your part on which you want to specify. Then come to that part, add a background, plain yellow background again, doing the same thing, then adding the polygon on top of it. And in this polygon, what I did was, I, as you can see, it's really, really small, first of all. And in here, I just decrease its length to something like this. If I increase that, so it would be something like this. But I decreased it. Why? Well, that is because because after this polygon or uh, background, I have this duplicate node. And if I see that, you can see that it's duplicated. And in this duplicate, we have seven copies. And because I change its Y translation, it said something like this. Okay. And we have total eight. One, two, three, four, seven. Okay. So we have seven in total and then again adding this on top of this with the help of this merge so let me just show this to you and boom you got yourself these dotted lines then you can animate these dotted lines too with the help of rectangle and if i come over here so you can see the again x and y values of this rectangle is animated and it comes up like this it's pretty simple right then again Doing the same thing with the ellipse, we have this background and this background is an instance background. So what's an instance background? Instance background, it's a sort of same background, a copy of background, but you have the ability to change some settings. That's what instance background is. And to change some settings, you have to right click on a parameter and then choose D instance. That is it. But I'll not do that because in background, I added this instance because, for example, suppose that we have this and the client or someone wants to change the color of it. So instead of going to each one and changing the color to each background, what I can do is I can just come to this simple background and change the color like this. Boom. You got yourself green. What? You want blue? You got yourself blue. So that's how you do it. All right. It's that simple with instance node and yeah, so you can do that too. 
and how do we add instant node so click on this control c to copy then instead of doing control v simply paste this copied uh, node what i'll do is i can do control shift and v now you have this green thin line over here which represents instance and in case if you don't want this green line so what you can do is right click and in the node graph and options here show instance links you can just uncheck this that is it and in this instance background inspector you can see that you have these green thin lines over here too on each parameter okay so i'll delete this and right click options and choose show instance links because i personally want to see those that's how i recognize instance nodes okay so that's how you do it then with the help of yeah so talking about this ellipse first of all we have this instance background all right simple yellow background then i added an ellipse mask so in fusion we have various types of mask okay so you can come to effects tools and here in mask you can see we have all of these masks or you can just right click anywhere and choose effect mask and boom you have all of this bitmap b spine ellipse mask paint polygon ranges rectangle triangle wand and etc all right so here in ellipse I just change its width and width and height property, and you can see in in this width I have this expression, same which says height. So this means that by the way expression is like coding and it is coding indeed. So here I just typed that whatever the height's value is, just simply copy that. So if I decrease it, increase its height, so the width will increase simultaneously. If I decrease it, then it will decrease simultaneously. Okay, that's pretty simple I think. Then again putting this on instant background, so it's yellow dot. Then with the help of transform, what I was able to do is I was able to animate it. So the animation of these dotted lines were done with this rectangular mask. The animation of this dotted ellipse was done with this transform. And how is that? So I just changed its pivot point over here onto this. So pivot point is basically the origin of that object. So I wanted the origin to be over here only. And then what I did was when it's over here, so when the dot line is going to touch that so its size as you can see it's set to zero you have this keyframe enabled and then 10 frames ahead its size becomes one okay so it's an animation of size and that is it you can hit ctrl f to fit this viewer to the view and that's how you do that and again doing this stuff two more times it's the same ways just changing their positions that is it and you get yourself these two more lines so first you have this one then you can just simply copy and paste it over here and in this one what you can do is you can just change the position of it and that's it as you can see in the polygon i have this one over here and this one i have this polygon over here so that is it i just change the position and everything else is just copy and pasting that is it and the same ways i have done this violet one how's that so again with this wireless link i was able to take this merge output and put it in this wireless link this way i have this like all of this in this single wireless link then you can see the same way which i did over here in this yellow graph i added a background and then adding some polygon mask on it so i have this violet background if i remove this mask you can see i have this plain purple background making a polygon like this making some shape with the polygon connecting this to the effect mask of this background and you get yourself this line so if you view this you will have this polygon line or graph line whatever you want to call it then again making the solid in the same way and here you can see that i have the same uh, background type set to gradient linear and all of the settings are pretty much same then adding this polygon again and making it solid this time and closing it this time so that it's a closed polygon when you will see this so it will be something like this then again merging this on top and you get yourself this lines as well as a solid background and now since you have all of these elements in this wireless link just connect this to a merge background and add all of this on top and you will get something like this and again animating this with a rectangle mask so it starts over here on seventh frame and it goes something like this okay so when you will add this on the smudge so it will mask out the whole like all of these elements okay because these all are inside the smudge 
then again adding some dotted lines and also this ellipse with the same way which we did over here we have this polygon like this okay it's really really small its length is really low then a background which is purple then with the help of duplicate i was able to get these lines and then merging it on top of this with the help of rectangle again you can animate this like this and the ellipse in the same way in sense background ellipse transform merge and you will get yourself this okay so now you have these dot lines as well as the ellipse and then again copying all of this and pasting two times more and then you will get these two times more again okay just change the translation of x that is it now we are done with how to make graph so it is completed okay the first level is done coming to the second one which is which was this one which i explained earlier so we are done with adding the axis lines adding the graph lines now comes the part of callouts making callouts for the animation all right super so how do you do that again this was this merge so to have some organization i added this wireless link node again and as you can see after this merge oh shit i did something wrong i think so how did i created that was first i created this then this merge was connected over here so second was this then third was this and fourth was this and after these four like this one this one this one and this one the soft glow which is over here you can see there are glow uh in this glow if i double click you can see in this uh this is a group node bus basically so if i double click on it this group will open and in here you have two nodes first is the glow one and second is soft glow so in this glow node nothing is there it's just basic like if i show this to you yep so with this glow i was able to get some hard glow and with this soft glow i was able to spread that glow okay so doing both the things simultaneously now i can close that so connecting this glow to this wireless link over here why because now we'll make some callouts and i have typed this under the yellow labeling i don't know why but i should call this callouts that sounds much better yeah so in this callouts if i come to the last frame you can see these are the callouts so the events which we right now or just created by using these dotted lines in this ellipse now we'll highlight those in a written format okay so we'll basically tell that what happened on this date or time so over here you can see we had 100 dollars and here we had 70 dollars and lastly we were able to manage 500 dollars okay same way the wallet one we had 300 dollars over here then here we had 190 dollars and lastly we had 65 dollars let me explain again the same thing we have this plain background if i remove this so you can see it's a gradient background adding this polygon so i created the shape okay so i'll tell you how i get the shape so we have the shape then connecting this to the background and boom you got yourself this cute little cloud okay then connecting this to the text which i have over here which says 300 dollars connect this to the merge node and this is the background on which this text is a foreground you get yourself this very nice right then with the help of transform i was able to add some animations so it's something up oh, here is it yeah it's here so it will look something like this and because i have added this pivot point over here when i rotate it it will rotate like this and if its pivot point was not here for example it it was there and rotate something like this so it depends okay that's why i'll do everything don't worry but first you need to understand so this is how i was able to add some transition to it so with the help of angle and as well as size so like this all right and this i just copied this transform and applied it to both the other callouts also then again we had this background and on top of this i added this as simple as that all right then after this one oh shit i am explaining this wallet one by the way both of these are same okay same nodes same method just the timing and translation is different okay so timing and position is different that is it so this way 
and the same way we were able to make this one like this background okay yellow and white this time adding this same shape connect this to the effect mask you get yourself this cute little cloud adding a text merging it on top of this background with the help of transform setting the pivot point over here and beneath on this tip and playing with angle and size you will get yourself something like this then again we had this as background so we have this as foreground and with the help of merge i was able to place this on top of this one that is it then the same way we added these two and the same way i added all of these call outs okay and finally we were able to finish that up so i have all of this in the single wireless link node okay like both of these lines all the graph lines animation dotted lines ellipse call outs everything in the single node then i told you already that how i created this background so onto this background i placed this on top of this background with the help of merge i placed all of these elements on top of this background and then with the help of transform i just increase its size a little bit because that was too small for me i think you should not do this later with the transform because it will be more pixelated it will affect its resolution so instead uh, from the starting use the whole canvas itself okay but later i'll render this in 4k right now it's in 1920 by 80 p so in 4k it will look good so no issue about that but if you don't want to do this in 4k so use the full canvas okay then lastly i have this background in which the colors are something like this then again because this is set to background input in this merge so and this all this is set as foreground placing this on top of our background and lastly we have this media out index is set to zero that's why it's it will be visible in the edit page also yeah you can see over here and then we are finally able to see all of our text effect or graph animation all right i hope that i was able to make you understand this so you made it till here well that shows that you really want to learn it so i'll make this from scratch for you guys okay so what i'll do is i'll just copy all of it control c then paste all of it over here and boom you got yourself this okay thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one all right i was just kidding i'll just delete all of this okay because i will make it from scratch seriously and by the way you will have this as a template that is a little bit difficult so not as template so what i'll do is i'll put a dot setting file so you can get that and you can do all the changes yourself so that way you will get a dot setting file basically contains all of this so yeah just drag it and paste it in your fusion node graph and you will have the same so now what i have that you want to create this from scratch so yeah you can do that and let's make this from scratch so first things first we need to see what we did first okay so obviously the base layer is first then comes all of these elements and all of these stuff okay but again we'll follow the fundamentals so fun fundamental say is first we need to create the base so first of all i'll enable this to a viewer and take this media out and put it over here okay and in this one we'll see our second version which i'll make from scratch okay obviously that will not look like this like this is so organized that will not be organized at all so first of all let's come over here and head shift plus space bar that will enable this select tool pop up and here you can type which tool you want so for example if i want tracker then i can type tracker okay and tra is a short form for that so for transform xxf background it's bg color character is cc and brightness contrast it's bc and etc etc but we need bg background hit enter and boom it's there now to zoom in control plus this middle mouse uh, right and to see all of the settings about the node graph basically like why my nodes are snapping to the grid why am i having this grid why am i having this navigator all of these etc etc right click and in options or in scale or arrange tool and everything like see these tools over here all right so right click and see the tool in this background to view this what you can do is you can either create uh, two to enable this in the second viewer or you can just drag it to the viewer 
which is the best like take and drag it to the viewer which i like myself so in this background it's currently blue which you don't want so we want this color so what we can do is we can click on this and this will create this color pop up click sync color choose this one well that is it and the red is zero the green is zero the blue is somewhere around here basically so that's why we have this indigo bluish background all right on top of it we have this gray opacity background shift the space bar adding a background node again enter and boom it automatically added this merge node okay so in this merge node what is happening is this background this one is the actual background and this one is on top of this one so that's why it's currently black all right i hope that you guys might be able to identify between both of these but whatever again we need to make it first of all gray and then cut out this much part so click on it should plus space bar type rectangle or what you can do it type rct sorry rct or what you can do is come over here or background right click you can see it says background 10 effect mask choose any mask which you want so we will choose rectangle boom now we have that so its interaction my values will be a little bit messy because wherever you will right click and add another uh mask for example let me add another triangle this time so that's why okay <laughs> but i'll delete this triangle in this rectangle first of all let's make it center x 2.5 center y 2.5 and that is it all right but what we can see is it's a little bit bigger so what you can do is you can either control this mask from this viewer itself you can increase its height and width by these four corners you can increase the width from here width height from here etc etc let me make it this much big as you can see that these borders are also visible on the second one so it's a little bit easier for us to match it so it will be something like this all right but the background is not black it's gray so we're gonna make it gray something like this maybe in this rectangle let's decrease its level to point 0.1 it was i think so point 0.1 and it's not that gray so we need to make it gray maybe maybe it was white i think this much is fine and point 0.1 is too much so maybe around i think this much will be fine point 0.4 yeah that is looking super great then we need to add these stripes so how do we do that another background first of all so let me do instead of adding another background just uh take these control c control v take the output of it add to the output of this merge automatically a new merge will be added all right and in this one we want it to be something like uh first of all let me just bring it a bit above and make it something like i am seeing the reference over here by the way guys and gonna reduce to one i think that is fine bring this above now over right here yep that is looking super cool width i think height is too much yeah i think that is fine we don't want to do the pixel p being stuff okay so now to add these now uh to view this click on this merge drag it to the view now you can view this so right now it's looking good okay but to add some duplicates of course you need to add a duplicate node so out of this background should press space bar D U P duplicate enter this will automatically be added in the pipe for instance if suppose that you want to add a, a node into pipe so instead of taking this into this then this into this these are two extra clicks what you can do is hold shift take your node you see the color change release your mouse that is it it's added now this duplicate let's make the copies to it was one two three four five six seven so seven copies take the y bring it down something like this much i think is fine so point four and boom you're done with your background so what you can do is you can take all of it should plus space bar u and d underlay and alt hold alt click on your underlay so that you will just select your underlay f2 to rename it type bg that is it right click set color i want to select all of it yep right click set color orange that is it now rectangle and this i click set color to t because i want my uh, mask i like my mask nodes to be tealish i don't know why but i just like it this way so 
Yep, that is it. After this background, what do we have here? We have these two lines. All right, so we need to create the lines. Well, we can do that. Come over here. Shift plus space bar. First of all, wire type wire. Yep. So now take this merge, drag it to the input of this wire, and boom, you have the same thing. Now you won't need to take this and you know add it. That's why. So what I'll do is I'll add this line over here. So right click first of all, set color to pink, and now shift plus space bar. BG as it is. Yep, make it gray somewhere. Or what we can do is pick screen color, take this one. Yep, I think this is fine. Now take this wireless link, put it to the input of the sorry output of this background, which will automatically add this another merge. Well, we need to swap the inputs because right now if you see this merge twenty five, what it's doing is basically taking all of this and putting it. On top of this background, which we don't want, we want the opposite of it. So we need to swap the inputs basically. How do you do that? The shortcut is Control T or Command T on Mac users. You know, it depends. Now this background, shift space bar, type P L Y for polygon. Now in this polygon, you can see that nothing is here. So we need to create the lines. So it's starting from here. So click one here. You can see you add a point. Now hold Shift. By holding Shift, you can see that it's snapping to. 45 degrees every 45 degrees okay which is really really nice so bring it somewhere around the over here then the second one over no we won't do the second one right now so uncheck the solid but right now nothing is showing up well that is because you need to increase the water width so make it 0.02 i think this much is fine yes or maybe increase in just a little bit more 0.002 or maybe four. <laughs> that depends, guys. That depends. Then again, let's add some text. So to add some text, after this background, what you can do is let's do one thing. We are making the like we are making very bad flow. So it should be left to right, right? So after this background, shift plus space bar, add a text plus node. It will automatically add this merge node. Now you can see in this merge, this is the background on which you will type a text. So all right, in this text, let me type so line one. I think that is fine. Bring this from here to here. Decrease its size to something like this. You know, you want to place this wherever your line one will be. So that doesn't matter right now. And the color will be exactly the same. So this one just increase it just a tad bit you know something like this will work super fine then what you can do is let me just bring this merge down this one also down bring this text over here select both of these control c paste with control v take this add to the foreground input take this to the input and now in this one we'll be adding the line two so in here come here Line two, layout, bring this down somewhere around here because we'll be placing it over here only. Yep, that is it. And the same way, like you created this y axis, this is basically all the y axis. So, shift the space bar, U and D, and lay. That is it. Hold Alt, select this one, F2 to rename it, choose y axis. I hope that we can type it. Yeah, we can. Right click, set color green i think it was green or maybe olive olive looks fine i think y-axis was olive yeah it was olive well that is looking super good and we are done with the y-axis too now comes the part of x-axis and that can be done too just copy all of it Control c paste it here Control v boom that is pretty much it so now the things are not lining up to the grid so Control a to select all Right click, line up tools to grid. Hold Alt to select this, rename that. Instead of Y, we need X and we'll be removing this underscore one. Enter, right click, set color, teal. Yep, now it's looking fine, but right now if you'll see it, nothing will happen. Well, that is because you don't have a flow. Control C to copy this wireless link. Control V to paste over here. Take this and add to this mode. Now, nothing is there to put 
some stuff there now what we need to do is click on it take the merge output from here because what we want is this merge outputs to be this background okay these both are doing the same thing so come to this polygon what you can do is first of all hit shift i and now select this first of all let me select this one and bring this i will control zoom in here so that i have more precision so what i'll do is i'll bring this one over here select this top one and let me just place it over here that is it what select both of these shift l make them linear and you have this x axis too and in here instead of line one we need zero here we need 10 and so on so on so i'll take this zero put it over here you can just directly take and change the position by holding this x and y arrows over here you see zero over here take this one which says 10 again place it so what i'll do is to place it let me just see the value of this one come here layout you see its x value is first of all this so right click copy come here come here right click paste oops control is at all paste that is it okay so now the x value is same but on the y value you can see that it's 0.17 let me just make it 0.17 i hope that will work yeah, it is working so 0.17 and this is 10 so what we can do is sorry we need to change its y value instead of x so 0.17 okay now in the x value in this one it's 0.123 let's round it off by 0.123 I think this is looking fine. No, it is not looking fine at all. What did I do? 0.17. I messed it up again. My usual habit. Okay, so 0.123. Now, to change its x value, you can bring it forward. And instead of 0.123, what you'll do is you'll type 0 0.223. So, just adding 100 more. That is it. Now to add, let me just bring this over here. Now to add some more text, what are you going to do is control C to copy, control V to, no, or instead of control C to copy, control V to paste, control V to paste, control V to paste, control V to paste. You can add as many layers as you want. All right, connect this to this one, connect this to this one, connect this to this one, and this to this one. And lastly, take the output from it and put it into the foreground of this merge. All right, now you have uh, one, two, three, four, five tens stacked upon each other together. First of all, make this 20 and layout instead of two to three, make it three, 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 two, three, sorry, three, two, three. Okay. So it's 10 frames ahead. Come to this one, make it 30 instead of two, two, three, make it four, two, three this time. This one, make it 40 layout instead of two, two, three, make it five, two, three this time. Lastly, 50 layout instead of 5 to 3, make this 0.6 to 3. This way, you will be having each text with equal amount of space. All right. So we can take it up to 80 or whatever you want. So that's how you do X axis. Now you're done with Y axis as well as the X axis. Now what's next? Let me bring this over here. Control F, Control F. So. We are done with this x axis, y axis. Now comes the part of creating this graph animation actually. So, beneath that, now I'll take another wireless link node, copy, paste, so that I don't have to take this again and you know, see all the wire. In this wireless link, I'll just drag this and put it over here. That is it. Now, for this wireless link, should press spacebar, BG and you hit enter you'll get this background put this over here and in this background let's see in this one first of all in this background now add a PLY polygon okay now you can make a graph of whatever like you want wish for so I'll start from here so one over here then one over here then in stagnant one down another one up another one over here if you'll hold shift then you'll get more 
flexibility then shift shift holding shift and lastly not like this but like this i think this much is fine now again shift i shift a shift s yeah this is looking much better at least better than before and make it something like this one so shift s yeah that is looking better at least now to create this solid background also what you can do is control copy both of these control v to paste or instead delete all of it control c to copy this control v to paste okay now you have this plain white background which we don't want so what do we want let me first control c copy this and control v to paste over here this polygon and now as i told you we need to close this polygon how do you do that come here select this one first of all come here and choose click up and you can do shift c also as it says let me see this one and over here hold shift click over here make this shift l to make it linear okay choose this one also shift l to make it linear that is it now select this back over here now again hold shift shift l to make this one also linear this one shift l to make this also linear lastly close this out first of all select this one and select this one to close this out and shift l click this one shift l that is it now with the help of control you can select single curve handles and make it like this and if i see this now because our solid is unchecked it's looking something like this so border width to zero and click on this solid boom you get yourself this mask cut out now take this mask and mask this yellow background first of all in this yellow background change the type to gradient put this one over here on top this one and bottom and let's make this black first of all transparent yep something like that now this one maybe a little bit not little bit total yellow this one so what we can do is come over here pick screen color choose this one that is it now view this again now in this one we have to do some trick just make it a little bit more darker so that it's more transparent all right so yeah something like that now can take this output and connect to the merge output this will automatically add a merge and if you'll see this boom you got yourself this now doing the same thing control c to copy control v to paste this is our yellow graph this is a valid graph come here shift the space bar u and d underlay shift the space bar u and d underlay that is it now to create some dotted lines also so first of all let me just come here right click set color to yellow because it's yellow obviously alt right click set color to violet because it's purple obviously select the merge select the merge no not this one like this one i right click set color violet right click set color yellow that is it that's how i do this now you can even increase this and after this merge what you can do is you can add bg let me just show this just for a moment in this bg add another polygon like that and in this polygon we will make some dotted lines from here so click this hold shift put this over here that is it increase the border width uh, reduce uh, uncheck solid first of all and maybe something like this will be fine now come to this and decrease the uh, first of all make it flat and decrease the length also to something like this would be fine after this background dup to add duplicate in this duplicate add seven copies translation y bring this little bit down i think this must will be fine come to this background color pick screen color this one okay that is it to add these lines to three more or in, in let's do one thing let's now 
copy all of it control c no 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 we don't need to copy all of it control c just this background and control shift v just for the instance and in this instance background shift plus space bar type elp for ellipse this time you will have this ellipse uh, mask take the output of it connect to the output of this merge once you will see this you will have this much big of a sphere which we don't want because it's too much big select this ellipse and again you can change the width and height from the viewport itself or you can do this by coming over here or what you can do is you can come to this width is equals to enter this will create an expression so expression is basically some coding stuff you know now take this but if you don't know uh, the coding and all these things so that's why you have this option take this plus and put it into the height first of all let me just remove this but yeah so now what this is saying is basically the width value will whatever will be the height value that is it so now you can just change its width and height will be changed automatically place this over here reduce its height and this way if i control f you will have this dotted lines and circle the same way which we see over here well now what well now just copy all of it with control c paste it with control or instead uh, after this instance background shift plus space bar and add an xf now let's do some animation also because we have at least some basic stuff so first of all come to the zero frame the come to the big round and uh, let's do one thing let's maybe end this merge shift plus space bar rct for or instead of this rct what we can do is we can come to this rectangle itself and let's animate this itself so from the zero and zero frame it's width okay instead of zero frame let's come to this 10th frame its width will be as it is but on the zero frame its width will be zero so now if you'll play so you will get something like this okay now, right now it's a little bit laggy let's complete this up with the animation and also creating the callouts that is it because you know if i'll have to create this again and again and again like i told you how to create this you just have to copy this and paste it over here and here and also do the same thing with the bullet pen that's how it is animated okay now coming to the next part which is y axis and x axis what we will do is come to this merge shift plus space bar because we need to animate whole line and also the text so which node contains all of it this merge node contains all of it and we can add a mask on it shift plus space bar rct again a cute little rectangle will solve all the problems that's why i like rectangle <laughs> just kidding bring this over here where you can see each stuff basically let's make it a little bit smaller something like this i think and also decrease its width something like this okay so this much rectangle covers all of it so let's come here on the 20th frame and add a keyframe on its position let's go back to zero frame bring it over here something like this same ways coming over here on the x axis and which node contains all of this merge node contains all of it so we can add a mask on this merge node which will affect all of it so again bring this down somewhere like here and by the way you can create some cool effect by creating the soft edge over here you know this creates sort of i don't know what it's called but analog sort of effect you know yeah like that but whatever right now we don't do that so increase the width maybe put it somewhere around here and then increase the width decrease the height because we don't need that right now this much is fine come to 20 second frame add a position keyframe come to sixth keyframe and make its x position over here well check out a proxy and let me just see this view a single one control left to fit the view auto proxy is turned on high quality and motion blur is turned off and by the way i'm reckoning to see this panel now if you'll play from the beginning so it will look something like this and by the way it's looking super cool to be honest and this way you will have this animated this animated now this the turn of this graph so we have this yellow graph over here again which node contains all of this stuff because you want to animate all of it together so this merge node contains all of it so after this merge node rct and now there will be a problem okay right click auto proxy is turned off okay so this merge is containing uh this ellipse this merge will contain dotted lines so if i come over here and you can see and this merge if i add an uh rectangle to this one this contains this solid background so what we can do is we can come over here 
and add this rectangle over here and here too so this will contain both of these all right looking super cool so what we can do we can increase some height again changing settings in the viewport display itself maybe bring it over here in between increase the width you can change the width and height over here also yeah i think something like this is so yeah i think this is looking good and uh, on the last frame its width and height should be like this sorry its position should be like this but on the first frame it should not be even present here again to animate this control c to copy this rectangle control v to paste but we will delete all the keyframes right click edit spines this is where you can animate all of it come here and check this show only selected tool so if you will select this rectangle it will only show this check mark this select both of these delete that is it that's what we wanted to do to be honest let's add a keyframe first of all let's put it over okay so we don't need this keyframe too so we can come over here and remove it by ourselves manually come over here put this over here and let's increase its width also its height maybe something like this is better maybe more so something like this is much much better come to the point where this graph will show so it will show on 27th frame so let's add a keyframe over here then 27 to 37 we will be animating it for 7 10 frames and now again add a keyframe here now come back to the previous one and bring this one down with this y axis yep something like this is super fine now lastly animating this ellipse come to this transform and change its pivot so move it pivot and let me just bring it pivot is basically the origin of it so zoom in one more time and you can see it fits perfectly and now we can reduce its size too so we need to see the point where the dotted line is coming so over here so one keyframe over here and then it's on 36 i think yeah so 10 frames ahead one more keyframe in the previous frame reduce its size to zero and now because you have splinator already turned on if you don't have that then right click edit splines and because you have the show only tool selected it will only show the selected tools and right now transform is selected so zoom to fit uh, to select both of these control a to select both of these and now we need to make it smooth so shift s to smooth these out now you can even bring t sorry let me just bring it above now you can even choose t so that you will have this ease in and ease out options increase this something like this will be fine let's see this now it's so smooth right now now select this rectangle and do the same thing over here put to view select both shift a sorry control a shift s Increase the easing to something like this and something like this will be fine. Selecting this one, this zoom to fit, control A, shift S, sorry, control A, shift S, increase the. Now, this is the graph, so you don't need to do much in here, okay? So, 40 and 40 will be fine, and that is it. That's how you create this little animation. Now, you can put this mask again onto this purple one and add some dotted lines and ellipse to the purple one too and animate that too all right i hope that i covered everything and we see a mistake over here that it's coming faster then even the lines are coming so in the spline we can go over here let's do one thing let's select both of these and we need to move these so how do we move these we move these with holding alt or shift so if i hold alt and then bring these little forward you know it, these are locked on x-axis i think this much will be fine and the same with this transforms size so select these hold alt or shift bring these ahead in a horizontal way yep that is looking super good now do the same now you just have to copy this and paste it again and again and again so if i want to show you an example so it would look something like now what you can do is you can just simply copy control c paste control v paste control v select all of this and here select all of this bring it here take this merge put into the input of this take this merge put in the input of this 
select all of it bring it above just a tad bit now only one thing which you need to change is basically two things the timing and the position so come here in this polygon oops and let me just go to the last frame so that i have all of it now change the center position that is it so maybe we want it over here so bring it over here i think that is looking great for a moment just remove this mask okay so that we can see this and now we have less duplicates so come to this duplicates increase the copies get something like 25 i think that is too much so we need 16 16 looks good same thing with this ellipse change the position put it over here go to transform in the pivot put it over here see how simple it was and lastly attach this rectangle over here and that will not work well that is because the rectangle is set over here but we need to change it so it's x and y positions remove the keyframe first of all bring it over here increase the height i think this much is fine maybe just a tad bit yeah that is looking fine bring this little down and then whenever you see the line i think 55th frame is fine so add a keyframe then come to 65th frame add a keyframe we didn't add a keyframe on 55th frame i don't know why and this reduce this to zero that is it in the transform come to spline take all of it hold shift or alt put this over here that is it and now you will have an effect right now this is showing up because of this so let me just remove this first for a moment and see this one second yeah so the it will come like this then the line will come then this will come up ellipse will pop up because of its size come up it's laggy a little bit right now so if for that uh one more thing in the transform i think we need to change it more so on 64th keyframe yeah select all of it hold alt bring this ahead something like this close the spline now it will work do the same thing in the third one and you will get the results so i hope that i was able to tell you everything okay and lastly the callouts so how to create these callouts so for the callouts shift to spacebar bg for this background over here in this background uh, control f to zoom and by the way if i missed out something please comment down below i can make another one on it okay i don't have any problem in that but you guys have to wait this that is a problem let's do one thing let's add a polygon p o l y let's see this polygon for a moment in this polygon we need to create an ellipse so how do we create a perfect ellipse do like this then hold shift 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 zoom oops close it then shift s now it's a proper ellipse right i'm kidding you don't need to do that uh, right click anywhere then polyline create ellipse at okay that is it it's right not too much big so come here point 0.25 or instance one was fine uh, yeah we'll make it smaller later but now we can see that there are some changes so from here it's a little bit hold shift and hold shift and bring this down hold shift and bring this above and now you can change the polyline do shift l to make this linear and right now if you're hearing any type of sound i'm really sorry guys but it's not up to me like what can i do these things happen we really live shift test to this one also so that you know and you can see i created this poly no this call out now connect this to the background view this background oops sorry view this background let me just come here and again yep now that is fine hit control s simultaneously guys because it will be a very very heavy file don't forget to hit control s and yeah that is how you make it but instead of this black solid color me to make this look like this so first of all let's choose this one and bring it over here so maybe this one and bring it over here oops not this one i think this is fine so something like this will work 
and in the black instead of black let's make it yellow proper yellow like it was okay let's do one thing let's do pick screen color and choose this yellow that is looking light and in this one let's make a little bit darker just tad bit not that much just a tad bit or maybe not that is looking super cool and make it something like this or instead of doing this put this over here and make it something like this will work yep that is it now connect this to this so this was a traditional method of connecting the nodes you know that's why i used wireless links so that you don't see this uh wire so to remove this remove it shift plus space bar wire you know select this wire put this merge into it click this wireless link and it will work the same again the inputs are in a wrong way control t to swap it after this background hit xf for transform cute little transform and this transform make this smaller in size not that much it should be enough that we can see so put it over here maybe increase it just a tad bit oh am i manipulating merge no we don't want to manipulate merge i can come here and put this over here reduce the size something like this will work i think change the pivot to animate this call out now add this text plus hit enter and the slot will add this merge node which is really really fine on this text plus you can add something like hundred dollars add as i typed in here i think yeah now in here let me make it extra bold italic change the color to this and then change its hue a little bit come here sorry oops instead of send c let's increase its size or something like this and that is how you do it uh maybe we can make it a little bit more darker so come to this text and maybe just a tad bit more not that much and even come to the shading come here on this third select element and choose black shadow which black magic fusion provides by default yup something like that will look super good or you can add some red outline uh, i don't want red maybe black maybe white see guys this this totally depends on you like whatever you want i think this is looking super cool then lastly how to animate this after this transform let's add one last transform at xf and in this transform change its pivot point so put it somewhere around here beneath this okay so at this tip and what's the benefit of this because now if you will change the angle so it will be like this halo halo so something like this okay and even the size will work like this so zoop i am also here right click edit spline that's it uh when is this coming so it's coming over here and the okay so at this point we can animate this maybe on 45th at a given on the size on 55th at a given on the size uh on 45th make it zero so it will just come so on 50th frame or maybe over here only at a given on angle on 60 at a given frame on angle and let's also add a size one over here and on 55th let's just increase it to 1.1 that is it now in here let's make its angle something like this over here it was zero so it will come and stop like this but right now it's very linear so again as i told you that's why we have this edit splines over here and control middle mouse to scroll in or zoom to fit yep this one Sh control a to select all shift s to smooth all of these now let's see looking super cool now we can reduce the size one 
and we can play a little bit with these angle one now in this angle one i will change it a little bit uh let me hold shift bring this above make it smoother and we can even oops select this one and bring this above so so it will like zip yeah that is what we wanted so you need to make this kind of a graph so that it will have this kind of an effect so till now it is looking something like this and see i can help you make this whole graph okay but it's a waste of time for me and for you because you should try to create these effects by your own all right i told you all the fundamentals on how you can create the background first of all how you can create those stripes how you can create those x and y graph lines how you can add text to those how you can add uh, these graph lines yellow and purple both of these then how you can add these dotted lines as well as the ellipse how you can make call outs and even how you can animate each element including the background and everything all right so i think that the knowledge that i provided you you can create the same animation which i showed you because if i have to create this one it will take at least 2 3 hours you should try yourself i told you how you can use these viral wireless links also so in my each tutorial i try to add something new because there should be something which my previous viewers should gain or there should be some value that's what i thought and i hope that i was successful in that but lastly you can even select all of it bring this up first of all sorry this far this link select all of it shift to space bar und alt and select this one f2 to rename it call outs right click set color yellow because it's for yellow so that is how you create this one and i told you how to create these many notes so i think i hope at least that you guys learn something from this you guys like so frequently asked questions some of these are how to read or animate like vox iman gadzi yeah johnny harris or magnets media and etc etc so the video for all of these will be coming yeah this was the good news which i want to tell you i'll try to keep it as short as possible and i'll just make maybe one to two videos per that's what i am hoping for the september month and maybe you will be experiencing 8 to 10 videos maybe i'm again saying this maybe please take the fundamentals learn the fundamentals and iterate try to create your own effect okay not just copy this one just learn how to create this one and then try to put it in your vision in your imagination make another graph or next one and tag us and that will be super super great oh man this was really really long i tried my best to keep it as short as possible you will get these as a template so all of these will be present in the file provided in the description below okay so there will be a link click on that and you'll be directed to the place where you can get this template not template uh this setting file so you can just drag that setting download the setting file then drag it and place it onto your node graph and you'll be getting the same which i have over here okay yeah that's what you should hope you guys like this one and i was trying to make this for such a long time but i didn't get time but right now i did so i made this for you and the upcoming one is the map animation lastly be creative thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one peace out